Hello, today I'm going to show you how to use the offset path tool. First you will need a closed path. It can be a shape or text that you have outlined. Here is a shape I've created beforehand. It is made of several short segments forming a closed path that has no end point. It has a green fill and no stroke. Offset path means creating a duplicate shape or path at an equal distance all around the original shape or path. There is a couple ways you can offset a path. First select your shape. Then go to Object, Path and select Offset Path. If you use this command a lot, you can assign a special keyboard shortcut to speed up your work. I will show you how to do that in my next tutorial. After you select the offset path, the dialog box should pop out. Select the preview box so you can view the paths as you edit the options. The offset field determines how much the path will offset. By default, Illustrator sets it to 10 pixels. Let's extend it to 30 pixels outward from the original shape. Using the negative number will cause the new path to decrease by the specified number of pixels. I'm going to show you a few keyboard shortcuts that can be useful while offsetting paths. First highlight the number in the offset window and then use the up arrow key on your keyboard to offset the path outward or the down arrow key to offset it inward. When you press and hold down the control key and then press the arrow keys, you can offset the path by every decimal point. Pressing the shift key instead will offset it by every 10 pixels. Let's change the color of the offsetted object. Now you will notice we've got two separate objects. Select the pink path and let's offset it outward by another 30 pixels. Go to Object, Path, Offset Path, leave the offset as it is and change the color. Let's offset the green shape inward. First select the green shape. Then go to Object, Path, Offset Path. Check the preview box and this time change the offset to negative 30. And we've got four separate shapes. With this method, editing one shape doesn't affect the other shapes. However, editing all shapes at once will distort their offset proportions. When you switch to outline mode, you will notice four separate paths. Let's delete all the shapes, leaving only the blue one. Select the blue path and let's offset it again. In the offset path dialog, you have two more settings. The joins field allows you to edit the new path's angles. Miter is a pointed corner, round is a round corner, and bevel is a flat corner. Let's set it to miter. The miter limit is how far the points can extend beyond the original path. By default it is set to 4. Let me show you this on an example. I will select the two top anchor points and move them up to create acute angles. Let's select the object and, like before, offset it by 30 pixels outward. Notice that the new path doesn't follow the original path at those two sharp angles we've created. We can fix it. All you need to do is to increase the miter limit to a higher number. Let's undo it. Next I will show you another way to offset your path. With the path selected go to Effect, Path and Offset Path. Let's change the offset to 30 pixels. Next open the Appearance panel and drag the offset path to the fill. Let's lower the opacity. 
To create an offset path, first let's copy this layer. Just click on the fill and drag it into the duplicate selected item icon. Now select the offset path of this new fill and let's offset it by another 30 pixels. You can either let Illustrator do the math for you or type 60 into the offset window. Let's create one more offset path. Duplicate the top fill layer, select its offset path and add another 30 pixels into the offset window. This method is easily editable. Moving an anchor point, for example, won't distort the offsetted paths like it did in the previous method. When you switch to an outline mode, you will notice we've got just one single path. Let's create the two acute angles like we did before. To change the miter limit, open the appearance panel, select the offset path of the top fill and increase the miter limit. Now do the same with the other paths. Before you draw another shape, be sure to go back to the appearance panel and clear the appearance. Otherwise your next shape will adapt the same attributes that you've used last time. The offset path tool has many uses. For example, you can make a perfect border around any shape. It can be used to create negative space around text. The offset path tool can also be used on strokes as well or creating logos for example. Please check out my other tutorials to see how you can utilize this tool. Thanks for watching. Bye bye.